No one is perfect in this world, even less in vitro retinal surgery, said one of my masters during my residency. To illustrate these words of wisdom, let me show you one of my mistakes during a retinal detachment repair. A combined procedure is scheduled for this elderly woman who has both cataract and retinal detachment. Under local regional anesthesia, uneventful phacoemulsification and IOL placement in the back. Core and peripheral vitrectomy. To assess the vitreous status, 3M acetonide is injected and despite low settings, a iatrogenic retinal tear is created with the vitreous probe. Trying to aspirate the last canacord crystals, as you can see. The vitrectomy goes on. New staining with triamcinolone in the periphery. Care is taken to get rid of all vitreous around this iatrogenic tear in order to avoid any future PVR. On the coterie, Three hundred and sixty degree base excision. The other rheumatogenous breaks are gradually cauterized. PFCL to flatten the retina. Fluid gas exchange to continue the vitreous base shaving under air with high vacuum. The iatrogenic tear will be used finally as a drainage retinotomy, vitrectomy under air using venturi mode with 550 mm of mercury vacuum. On the laser around all breaks, short actin gas tamponade and the case is over. At one month follow up, this woman goes very well. So in operating room, concentration and humidity are two essential values.